hey what's up how you doing welcome to another tutorial on devstack so in this tutorial here we are going to be looking at how to build an api a crowd api using code for all right so let's dive in so the first thing we need to do is just you know head over to the code official website the documentation and um create our code igniter um starter project so i'm just gonna head over to this home um, yeah then click on i'm going to be using composer to install do not click on composer then this is it right here i'm just gonna copy this then open up a terminal then enter the project where i want to go so this is where i want to create it so i'm gonna paste this here and do uh my project name is gonna be my api all right so we're gonna wait for that to you know um correct the project for us and meanwhile that is going already make sure you have postman installed already because we're gonna be using postman to send and receive requests all right so let's look at this okay this is going so i'm just gonna pause this and continue when this is done all right all right as you can see now so we've gotten our project up and running already so sorry i'm just gonna open the terminal again and sit into web project that's my um, um my folder then sit it into my api so sorry my api now let's test if it's working this is gonna be a spark serve all right all right beautiful so this is working already so i'm just gonna copy this right over here and paste this all right so we have our first code editor page opened up already so i'm going to open up okay now open up my visual studio code see my visual studio code i'm going to open up a new folder then this is my api select it and click on select folder all right good so we have this up and running already so the first thing to do is just change this so we're going to be using our database and setting some configuration so Control shift s that is to save as we're going to save this as all files then right here is going to be dot env okay so i'll comment this and make this um development then right down here we are just going to comment this and this sorry and this and this and this uh we don't need to comment that we don't need that so let's just my database doesn't have a password so the part the username is root and database name is going to be my api so let's go ahead to i have my exam open already so i'm just going to start this so i'm going to head over to localhost slash php my admin okay so right, let's wait for that to load. So we are going to create our first um, database here. And we're going to create our table, which is going to be um, um tax table. All right. So this is basically an include kind of stuff. All right. So let's go ahead and create a table called my API uh, database. I mean, so now that our database creates a table called um tax. All right. Click on the go. So let's go ahead and put this ID. It's going to be name. This is gonna be description and this is gonna be um created at so this id is going to be auto increment and the name is gonna be voucher let's give it 225 this is just gonna be a text field and our created time is gonna be a date time a date time there and the first is going to be current timestamp all right so just go ahead and hit save so this will save our taxable for us. So we have this done already. So basically to get started with this, so I'm just gonna open a new, sorry, okay. I'm going to open a new terminal in this place. So let's use this one here. So to get started, we have to create a controller, a, a, a resource controller. So let's go to this place. And let's look at um, this controllers and routing. I think it's there. You yeah, can see rest, restful resource controller here. Yeah. So this is how it, 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 it looks like actually but i'm just going to go to the x um, the command line usage here okay then this is um the command line generator this is what we're going to be making use of make controller so we're going to pass in the red for here All right so let's just go ahead and do php spark um make controller then passing the name of our controller is going to be tax then passing on to um restful all right i think yeah i think it's restful right yeah restful so passing restful and click enter so that has created a controller for us in our controller what i can see 
and it has written everything we need to do so once that is done already we don't need to start mapping our url in one kind of way so we can do that by just you know, going back to this um, first page i have this place here so to that here we just have to pass in the resource just give it the the resource so you see you would not have it wrote for photos and so on but you can have this so this can just be root resource so that is basically what we need to do so that's going to root resource then the um the controller name so let's go to the route route or php right here and we can just go comment this then we can do route resources resource sorry oh resource and this is gonna pass in the tax all right good now we have this already so the first thing we want to do is we are not going to work with the thing there because we have no data in there we're not going to work with the show because we have no data so let's look at working with um the uh that create yeah so we're going to be working with the create so before we work with that let's create a model here so php spark make so we're going to make a model sorry make model this model is going to be tax all right so the model has been made already so let's go to the tax.php okay this is it here so let's delete this we don't need this uh we don't need this sorry i will not need all this good we don't even need this, this so the protected um allowed field is gonna be name then let's go to the database again and check so i have name description okay so it's gonna be name and description we don't need to pass the created at here so it's optional name and description good so now in this crate we're gonna do something we call we have to first call our model so model equals to new tax right so we've got the model already so basically if you're not using visual studio code make sure you have something like this use this so now you see i extended this resource controller so to proceed before proceeding we have to use the response tree so let's use response trait all right so that is going to import this also good so once that is up already we can just go ahead and do uh yeah yeah let's do some validation in this place so basically let's delete this first let's do validation first so this rules equals to this we're gonna do um the first one is the name the name is going to be required okay and the next one is the description so the description is going to be what required so let's go ahead and do if not this validate so if it is not validated the rules i want you to send uh to return this then fail we have something we call fail so that fail is to respond returns a fail object using um php adjacent field objects using php so let's do fail so we can go ahead and do um this then the validator validator sorry sorry validator then get error so you can go ahead and get the errors you can see the error i'm getting is ending with an s not a single not an error it's errors i battled with that a lot so let's use the else so basically we have this up and running already so let's go to our postman here it's gonna create a new one this is gonna be http local host port 8080 sorry 8080 right yeah i think it's 80 yeah 8080 then slash where we are pointing to is um tax tax slash create that is a resource name so it's tax slash create let's send this now you can see we have this okay so let's take a look at the preview okay this is not gonna do anything let's try create a load let's send this all right this code ignitor for for controller or method is not found all right so that is actually working tax slash create is actually working so let's send this so we have this right here
okay so I'm, I'm just gonna copy this and let me test that in the browser first and see what's happening okay so this is rendering nothing but normally we are supposed to get an error message this is return this and this so let's check our routes here so we have the resource stacks already okay you know what let me just comment this and try route there it's gonna be a post it's gonna be create then we're gonna be passing it from the um tax tags then they create all right so good so let's head over here to the create and then i have a four files in the created method is not found so you have this post supposed to create all right so why this one is not found because i'm trying to use the get get method here instead of the post so let's try that in this place so let's remove this let's send this all right now you can see we have um four for controller method is not found so we are still getting the same error and that is weird okay okay i think i i i think i know why that this is that okay we are using the get here so let's use the post and send all right you can see the field name is required or so so i think that is the error there so let me just comment this and um comment this back because i think that should be why it's it didn't work out last time so this is going to tag slash create to send all right yeah because we are using get instead of post all right so we have this done already so now evaluation is working now so now else the one that evaluation is is passed through let's go to the record that's all so that's how an array is going to pass in uh, this so this is going to be the name from the database so is this going to be this request get var so the get var is going to be name comma so we need the description to description it's gonna be this request get var description All right so next we need to use just call that model model equals to new tax then we can go ahead and do uh model then save so you are saving our what our data so to check if this response was successfully created we can just go ahead and do return this code igniter has everything created for you so we can do this response created then passing the data all right so this is as abc simple as abc so let's send this now let's say okay we still getting the error so now let's go to the body click on this part here we're gonna have a key so the first key is the name and the other one is the description so the name here is gonna be get a get an iphone iphone 12 pro max okay this is not where i'm supposed to put it control x we don't need this okay yeah so let's click on send now you can see we are getting our data back so that is to say it has actually saved in the database so let's try let's try that again uh, this thing let's try that now you can see i have get an iphone iphone 12 pro max and our time is automatically updated i can go ahead and do um let's try iphone 11 pro max get iphone 11 so if i send this i can be seeing response created here so for this now you can see we have this now let's work on getting our 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 data in this place so to do that all we have to do is just call the model in this place equals to new tax then we can go ahead and do model then find all so let's do data let's assign this to a variable called data and i can do return this so this place we're not going to be using response created that is for the response we get after something has been created or updated we are going to be using something just called only response so this is just going to fetch the response as a, as, as a json object for us so we have this already so to do that we just have to 
point to the tax alone so we just delete this place and click send all right you can see we have our tax being loaded up so this is uh, running on a process that you get and send like okay now you can see it just gave us the error so basically you have to use the post in this place and which is weird actually so basically this is it here you can see we are getting our our um sorry our data from the database already brilliant so now the next one we're going to do is the show so this show is going to be to, to to work on us getting the data by an id from the database so to do that you just have to call the model again model equals new tax so let's do if uh okay let's do data equals to model then this is going to be find you just have to pass in the id so the code ignitor will do that for us so we can do our go ahead and do if data so let's see if not okay this is um a bad way to do it let's do if data equals to force or okay let's try if empty data i think this is okay so if the data is empty i need it to return return this and say fail not so fail not found you can go ahead and do item not found so this is what we're going to get after the data is not found then we will do else then return this respond okay just respond then we're going to pass in the data all right save so let's go to the place and do tax slash let's try five and send this now you can see controller method is not is not found okay we have to go to the show all right so we have to go to the show let's go to the show slash five and let's click on send you can see we have item not found so why if i try one you can see we have it is actually the already so if i should try to so our data is being fetched from database so we've done the view create now we have to look at the updates so uh okay so we are going to be using this for the updates so to make use of the updates this is what we're going to be doing we're going to use the same model equals to new tax so you can see this is just as simple as abc so you can go ahead and do um that uh, okay let's do the, the validation so i'm just gonna go up yeah basically this all we need just going to okay yeah we need all this so let me just go ahead and copy this so i'm just gonna paste that's here okay so we have the validation here all right so we have the validation in this place so let's go ahead and try that so this place is update i'm just gonna delete all this okay let's send and you can see the validation is working now once that is validated already we have our data the new tag so what i want to use here is update so i want to update this by the id so that is the id we are getting from this place then comma our data Alright, save this then let's go back to the postman let's send this so required so let's go ahead and fill this name let's do description so we are editing the two so let's do iphone edited let's do edited in this place let's go ahead and click on send now you can see we have iphone edited and edited so let's go to the database and refresh this now you can see we have our database has been edited already using the api so these are we do this type of thing actually all right so the last thing we need to do now is to cover the delete so the delete is very simple so basically we have to 
do this type of validation in case to prevent them from doing any other type of thing so let's just go ahead and copy this so let's go to the um edit update sorry so if that is empty so let me call the model here yeah, model sorry model equals to new tax all right so that is that okay so let's go to the let's try six and let's send this all right so i want this to be working there all right so we will not be able to try and edit something that is not available all right so the same way i'm going to do that for you so the model equals to new tax all right so those down here okay so we have this so good so now to delete this is as simple as it is all you have to just pass in that mode there then delete so we're gonna be deleting this what the one with the id all right so that is as simple as that let's delete the first one so do delete okay let's try and delete six because it's not available we are going to be getting item not found so let's delete the first one i click for send now you can see it has been deleted already so that's why we are getting this so if i should refresh this and see one has been deleted if i go ahead and um sorry delete two so you're going to see it has been deleted already so if i go back and refresh this so our database is empty already so let's go ahead and add in some data back so that is in create so you don't uh, create you don't need the two okay so we have this so i've um learn how to code how to build an api all right brilliant. so let's just click on send all right you can see we have that already so check the database refresh all right so we have it in our database amazing so you just learned how to build a simple and efficient api in Code Igniter 4. Hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.